What scientific experiment would you run if money and ethics weren't an issue? The Gilligan's Island Experiment Shipwreck 100 people with vastly different backgrounds Wealth disparity And personalities on a remote island See what kind of civilization grows from it Then do it 50 more times to check results against each other I've always wanted to try to breed a winter blooming rose Ethics are fine but the cost of having that many roses in a hothouse and the decades of selective breeding most likely required to accomplish it would cost an astronomical amount. So I'm sticking with it. This is one of the most interesting replies I've read that isn't cruel or obscure. It seems so simple and achievable yet I fully understand the ridiculous amount of money and work involved as you described it. To achieve the desired outcome. Have an Olympics where every single athlete is drugged to an insane level. I think it would raise what is possible by today's standards drastically. And then have an average person compete alongside them to show the disparity. Imagine lane 1 Usain Bolt juiced up. Lane 2 Jim from accounting. How long a decapitated head stays conscious? All we have are anecdotes that might have been exaggerated. I've always wanted a definitive answer. But you know. Ethics. It's been done 7-10 seconds. So you gotta start planning on your last words now you won't have time then. My current is I'm going to head out. Put a baby human and a baby lion in an isolated island with enough food and water. See how they interact. How athletes from different sports react to fight or flight. Even further. Would they fight differently than others? Soccer players would throw themselves on the ground and play dead. How would the world react to a mountain of 100 billion pennies for free in the middle of a major area? This sounds so dumb but is really ducking interesting if I think about it. I'd want to see what a society of children would do on their own if they were alone from birth. Of course. Adjustments would have to be made for when they were infants. But beyond that. How would they develop language? Ethics? Mythology? Culture? And as they got older. How would they handle coming of age without adult role models? Though unethical. I think an experiment like that would answer a lot of questions about sociology. Psychology. Anthropology. And philosophy. It would be like watching the beginning of human society from scratch. With no external influence. Edit. Yes I have read Lord of the Flies. However that is a work of fiction. Edit 2. You guys have a lot of brilliant ideas on how to improve this experiment and a lot of true stories to make hypotheses on. I'm really enjoying reading this thread. Hill the pig. Cut his throat. Hill the pig. Bash him in. Near death experiences. And what people see. So basically I'd want to heal a bunch of people then bring them back to life. I'm sure a lot of them wouldn't make it back. Ever seen the OA? CRISPR the absolute duck out of some kids and make some next level humans that can run stupid fast and jump crazy high then make the superhuman olympics trademark sign and figure out what humans are really capable of. Edit. Oh sheet first gold. You and your offspring will be exempt from my CRISPR trials. This is very different from what I just read about winter blooming roses. Dinosaur cloning. What else is there to do? Humans have quite a few movies that tell you that dinosaur cloning is a bad idea on earth. Oh man I love this question. There are a ton of geo and guinea ring experiments that I'd love to run if they weren't both. 1. Illegal. 2. Insanely expensive. 3. Non-zero possibility of death and destruction. Iron fertilization. Basically dumping tons of iron dust into the ocean to cause an algae bloom. Which should sequester a bunch of carbon and help mitigate global warming. Cloud seeding. Space mirrors. Dropping a nuke into a volcano. You know. Normal stuff. What are the downsides of iron fertilization? Genetic altering of humans. I don't currently have an issue with anyone that wants to do it on themselves. However to do it to an embryo or through the parent's DNA to see what we could do to advance humans would be amazing. Alterations to intelligence. Memory. Physical attributes. Gills to swim underwater. 
visual alterations to see the full light spectrum and hearing for the full sound spectrum. Immunity to all diseases and harmful bacteria. Ability to eat almost anything for sustenance. Definitely this and cloning. If we had no qualms about the ethical implications we would make leaps and bounds in biological sciences. I will make 5 subjects of sane and healthy mind placed in a facility with 5 psychopaths. Insane mayor dares. They will have group activities in a pair of 2 from each group and the activities will be of 2 types. Moral and immoral. Then I will conduct results about how much these activities affect the subjects in both groups. Edit. They are not in a prison. They are just being volunteers. Prisoners totally different scenario and the Stanford prison experiment had totally different outcomes. These group of two will go through a medare activity. But psychopaths are not allowed to medare their partner or anyone other in the experiment. This would be very interesting. I think it would make a big difference how the psychopaths became that way. Nature or nurture? If nature. I think they'd have a higher chance of meeting somewhere in the middle. If it's genetic. We might not see much movement on that side. I train gorillas in weightlifting. Really see how tank they can get. Boost them with steroids along the way. After that. I take my army of beasts. Pump them full of coke. And let them loose in an empty shopping mall. Wanna see which stores they like and which ones they don't. You know. For science knit. Edit, I've had some fantastic input from you geniuses. To add, the gorillas will be trained in all beef up exercises. Even though science is against me on this one. We're gonna throw some PCP in with the coke. Cybernetic hearts to handle the load of coke. Yada. 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 Thought I had more on this. Oh. And the mall is empty because I'm not a freaking mad dare. You guys. Quit trying to heal everyone. Not all science is about death. Jeez. See if a monkey tribe could become dominant over the rest by training them to make and use weapons and other primitive technology. Also interested in seeing if they would take their newfound knowledge and begin to expand an empire. So one thing they did learn about chimps is that they don't teach each other. They often are observers. A monkey see monkey do situation. Humans teach other but we also have an inherent trust in others when we are young so we trust what we are being taught is true. Humans as adults will teach each other and form ideally mutually beneficial relationships. It is what gave us a huge advantage in developing material cultures like stone tools being made in a similar pattern by different groups of people. We learn from each other more than other great apes than just when we are young. If one individual is taught to make a spear. It won't go back to its troop and it won't proactively teach others to make a spear for the benefit of the group but the others who see it make a spear will make their own after watching the first chimp do it. Raise a child without ever punishing or awarding them. Just let them do whatever they want. And then see what happens to their behavior when they age. They will still be punished and rewarded by their environment. This will only answer the question to what environment was the kid born in. Rather than perhaps breaking down inherent genetic aspect of behavior i've actually thought a ton about this i would put two people through the exact same conditions the entire life now i'm not talking just similar scenarios but everything from the weather inside the womb to the humans they interact with to the wind every day and i would see if they are the same essentially if humans are born with personalities or if we develop them through little things all our life essentially the butterfly effect tbh this probably wouldn't even be possible with infinite money but it would be cool i would really love to read a paper about this experiment tbh have a baby human raised by apes basically to see if tarzan scenario would occur and the human is able to communicate fully with the apes throw two groups of toddlers one boys and the other girls on two separate islands Provide them food via robots and not teach them anything regarding gender, sexuality, race, language, etc. And see how they develop and never mention to them the opposite sex and have them be racially diverse too. It would answer so many questions regarding psychology. That is is sexual orientation a product of nature or nurture? Are humans born with innate gender roles? 
Are humans naturally tribal and or xenophobic? Etc. Edit. Thanks for the silver. It. A couple of people confusing attraction towards the opposite sex with desire to procreate. Some gay people want to have kids too. Growing up never encountering the opposite gender is an interesting thought. If we're biologically wired to seek out the opposite sex for reproduction but we don't actually know that the opposite sex even exists. What then? I'd run a serial Krilla contest. First person to successfully kidnap until 50 people receives 10 million dollar one year after the last hill. If they are not caught by authorities and if they can prove the killings. How many persons would undertake this? How many victims would there be? Can I just say? If they created a show series with this plot I'd definitely watch it. How children develop when occasionally microdosing LSD. Or how they develop when the mom takes LSD and my psychoactive Drew Gus while pregnant. With Elon Musk's Neuralink thing the first thing I thought of was an unethical experiment. If you attached a whole bunch of wires to the speech center and audio center of the brain of a bunch of children. And network them together. I wonder what kind of language they would develop and how they would communicate with what is essentially telepathy. We are the Borg. You will be assimilated. Your biological and technological distinctiveness will be added to our own. Resistance is futile. Double quote. Brain transplants from humans to animals and vice versa. I'm thinking that the physical biology is too different for that specific cross-species surgery to work. Maybe start between humans? Do a swap and see if they fare. I'd like to clone several sets of baby head tellers and see how they grow up in different environments. Some can include A loving family The kind that you barf at because they are so perfect A Jewish family An artistic family that encourages his talent An abusive family similar to the one he grew up with A family of scientists And finally The most unethical environment A family of politicians And also a second set of clone baby head talers so we can finally solve which percentage of people would heal baby head talair. I'd love to pit elite Madden gamers vs NFL play callers and see who is better at game management and play calling. Hail Mary every ducking time. They'll never see it coming. I'd study the long term effects of low G on humans. By sending a habitat to the moon. And then sending supplies and volunteers. And I'd send a lunar bulldozer to cover the habitat with regolith because I'm not particularly interested in contaminating my results with radiation exposure. I'd especially love to see them on someone born in such an environment if possible. To measure the effect on development of humankind by eliminating the least intelligent 5% of the human population every year based on monthly standardized testing. I want to send someone to space without a spacesuit. I've read about everything that can happen. I just want to see it on film. Redesigning the human sinus. I wish to find a way to modify the body to fix that mess of an airway. Sometimes I think about how there's just hollow cavities behind your face and get really anxious. Specifically the Mayo Clinic illustration that comes up when you google sinusitis. That sheet makes my chest tight. I'd like to know what people would really do for a Klondike bar. Not necessarily a scientific experiment, but a series of experiments to see how you can control nerve sensations from the brain and whether Ripu can create VR that can perfectly mimic the sensation of touch whilst being motionless. As if you're moving and touching something in a virtual world but not in the real world. Is that even possible? Calm down Akihiko Kerba. I've always been really curious what the results of the holocaust twin experiments would be if they were run by a sane person. If I didn't have to worry about the fact that I was slaughtering a bunch of children which very much goes against my morals. I'd recreate those. Do you have some particular experiment in mind? Basically all of Menjil's twin experiments I heard of. Aside from being of course horrible. Made no sense whatsoever. The only one I know of that seems like it would give borderline meaningful data is the one about carefully measuring the bodies of twins to find out which traits are hereditary and which ones aren't, perhaps not coincidentally. 
it is also pretty much the only one that does not seem pointless cruelty for cruelty's sake. Which prescription drug aren't really dangerous to mix with alcohol and to what dosage can you be closest to death without dying so I can get litty? Soft target schools. To see whether a school where people are trained and have gums is safer or less targeted than a school that does not allow firearms. I don't know how it would be done. But someone had mentioned it to me and I've always wondered how you would test it. I would breed and engineer dogs to become more intelligent. Until they can understand the concept of I am coming back soon. Don't worry they deserve it for helping us get this far as a species. Pretty much any vault tech experiment. Put a baby in a pure white room at room temperature and find a way keep them alive with no human interference. What would they do for their whole life? A legitimate eugenics experiment not rooted in racism and actually rooted in breeding superior humans. I'd use CRISPR and all kinds of gene doping techniques. After all the poo hoo hooing is done. Humanity will thank me for solving modern healthcare problems through genomic manipulation and ushering in the next era of human evolution. I'd also use those artificial wombs to mass clone, mass produce, and mass develop genetically modified embryos. I'd simultaneously pump billions into all your research so that the day-to-day -day responsibilities of running a society would be taken over by intelligent machines which will free up precious time and energy that will go towards the eugenics cause. Poke around in people's brains and see what I can and can't done from altering the brain. Imagine being able to stop allergies. Allergies are a function of the immune system, which isn't really controlled by the brain. Iron Man suit. Ethics don't even need to be ignored. I just really want a complete Iron Man suit with all the weapons. Flight and FRIDAY. Edit, you guys seem to be worried about how I'm going to power the suit. All Iron Man suits have an arc reactor built into the chest. Even the MK1. I asked for a suit so I'm probably gonna make something similar to the arc reactor built into the chest.